Episode 9 is set to introduce many different twists and turns, as well as surprises in this movie by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, I will say that I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly how J.J. is going to utilize the concept of all the different twists and turns, the revelations that are coming our way in this movie that's going to make us look back at The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi in a different way, and will also make this movie stand on its own away from the past two movies, and exactly why I believe that this film is going to be the Revenge of the Sith of our time. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leads the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with Kylo Ren and Snoke's master. Specifically, a description of Kylo Ren inside of an abandoned First Order base that once belonged to Supreme Leader Snoke. It's described that Kylo is holding a large ancient scroll that is said to have ancient Sith knowledge and once belonged to Snoke's master. It's described that these ancient scrolls that once belonged to Snoke's master contain secrets of the beyond that offer new truths of the dark side of the force, as well as the dangers of going too far. It's described that Snoke knew this knowledge from the knowledge of his master and that the new threat in the film is connecting to what aspect of the beyond to show something darker than anything fans have seen in a Star Wars film to date. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, number one, Snoke's master. We do know that there are going to be some references made in this movie to, of course, exactly who was responsible for basically, you know, using, you know, Snoke as his apprentice and pretty much building up the First Order. Now, we do know that Snoke himself, if you guys have read the last Jedi novelization, you can really see how a lot of dots are beginning to connect in this movie that do have connections to the last Jedi novelization. We do know that Snoke actually had a lot of knowledge based within the dark side and the secrets based within the unknown regions. Even Luke Skywalker was searching for things out there as well. So that's leading me to believe that possibly the beyond is actually going to be in reference to the unknown regions and the power that it holds. Now, what's really intriguing to me though is how Kylo Ren goes to this abandoned First Order base. We heard about this before a couple of days ago, which eventually becomes the new First Order headquarters led by Kylo Ren. It's essentially a abandoned First Order base because Snoke eventually wanted to go mobile in space and on the Supremacy ship and using that as the headquarters. So Kylo Ren actually comes across these ancient scrolls that once belonged to Snoke's master that has a lot of ancient Sith knowledge embedded in it and does indeed talk about the beyond. Again, like I say, the new threat in this movie is going to be associated with the beyond. And I believe that the beyond dwindles down to two different things. It's either A, going to be the unknown regions, or B, it's going to be a different realm within the galaxy, a different dimension, if you will. It's going to be one of those two things, I'm pretty sure. So this whole entire aspect of episode nine giving us references to Snoke's master that really do dive into ancient Sith lore knowledge, as well as references to the beyond. You can really see how Snoke knew about everything that's involved with the unknown regions and the dangers of going to the dark side too far. So with that being said, that's exactly why Snoke loves the concept of Kylo Ren, how he's a perfect balance between both light and dark, the finest sculpture, as he said in the Force Awakens novelization. And that to me is a very interesting angle to a Star Wars film. Like I say, Snoke is not a Sith, Kylo Ren is not a Sith, at least as far as we know, unless J.J. Abrams wants to change that entirely, that's completely up to him. But one thing that I do find very intriguing when we look at episode 9 is how we will be learning more about, of course, Snoke's master and what he was actually connected to, what he knew about the actual beyond and the dangers of the dark side and the origins of it all and going down it too far. So the beyond, like I say, we do know that these new villains that are going to be a part of this movie are associated with this part of the galaxy or whatever the beyond really is. For all we know, the beyond could be something around the lines of the worlds between worlds or something completely different in a sense that's similar to that. 
So with that being said, you know, I think that the whole concept of Jedi and Sith lore being used in this way is brilliant by J.J. Abrams. I mean, I gotta give him credit. You know, Jedi and Sith lore being used in this sense in order to move the characters forward, where the main characters actually do gain knowledge and learn more about, you know, the ancient ways of the Sith and the and the Jedi and whatnot, and how that's gonna move those characters, you know, forward and evolve them as characters from point a to point b start to finish of the movie i think that's a brilliant way that jj abrams is handling the jedi and sith lore in this movie again like i say since this is the final installment of the skywalker saga at least for now in the eyes of disney this is a big deal to them they're using this movie as a course correction they really want to have a lot of callbacks to the prequels and the originals as well as star wars rebels and even legends and eu material so that's exactly how this movie is going to gravitate toward all different fans around the world and how is this really going to be one of those movies like i say it's going to be the revenge of the sith of our time if you have to ask me anyways guys drop a comment below let me know what you think about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time